and we get right into it step number two of this framework my friends is angles okay now a little bit of backstory a little bit of backtracking i should say step number one we realize when it comes to our fitness and achieving whatever our fitness goal is in that moment we want to expect everything that can go wrong to go wrong and we want a solution for every single thing that can go wrong this is going to stretch our brain the process of neuroplasticity we basically just become superior human beings we also discussed that creativity and education are the ways to remedy our down bad days so if you ever feeling down bad you need to take action and create something or you just need to educate yourself because the education leads to creative action cause and effect you'll get out of that instance in a heartbeat so now we're at step number two of this three-step framework and it's titled angles and maybe i should have titled this something a little bit more direct but i kind of liked angles it sounded good so we'll use the same exact example of wanting to tone your core you want to lose the body fat you want to build muscles maybe you want some abs whatever it is right you need to have multiple a minimum of three you need to have multiple ways to achieve this goal now the reason that you want to have multiple ways to achieve one goal is because life is going to self-sabotage or life is going to sabotage your dreams expect it step number one life is going to happen so what happens when you can't exercise and you've been working at your abs and losing that fat you can't exercise well now you have to fall back on your diet well what if it's a company trip or a work conference or you literally just can't eat shit or get to the gym now your fitness and your nutrition are compromised well now what do you rely on well maybe you just rely on getting a good good night's rest because getting a good night's rest is where the muscles are developed and grow in the first place so maybe you just get your full eight hours of sleep that night because you weren't able to make it to the gym or eat well you do not want to spiral and for some reason it's easy for us to keep the ball rolling to have momentum going in the wrong direction and i'm speaking from experience we've all been there we've all said oh i'm gonna hit the gym and you end up not hitting the gym and you end up staying at home and maybe smoking hella weed and doing absolutely nothing with your life definitely been there i'm not gonna cap um years ago but i've definitely been there it's easy to keep that momentum going you see we like rhythm in our lives we love rhythm and we love momentum why because it takes the thinking out of life and we don't have to think and we don't have to be in the driver's seat of our mind we can just shift on over to the passenger hit cruise control over there and we continue going in that direction so what step number two is all about is creating momentum in that positive direction so you want to have multiple ways of achieving your goal so fitness nutrition mindset fitness nutrition rest fitness nutrition community these things are what are going to propel you to the next level what makes you great is not what you do when you're good what makes you great is what you do when things get tough so you want these safeguards these guardrails so to speak to be in place in order to propel you forward or prevent you from moonwalking like michael jackson you always want to be moving forward in your life or in your in your journey you really don't want to half-ass anything and this is just a life principle this is something that i tell myself i tell my friends if it's not a hell yes it is a hell no and we want to keep that principle alive here and if you don't have a minimum of three angles that you're attacking your goal with, don't proceed. Be all the way out because the worst thing that you can be is indifferent or in the middle. You never wanna live life in the middle because life in the middle is very, very comfortable. It doesn't challenge you, it feels good, and it breeds the fewest results. Okay, so if you are not able to find three ways to achieve any goal in your life, 
don't proceed with the goal. Don't waste your time. Don't don't be like most people out here that are just down to waste their time, waste their energy, and be half-assed. If you're half-assed, you're going to get half-assed results, okay? Be all in with whatever you do. Welcome failure. Welcome falling on your face. Why? Because you have these safeguards. You have these angles. You have multiple ways of achieving your goal. Think about multiple sources of income and how important it is to have not only your 401k, but stocks and bonds and other investments in real estate. And back in the day, they had pensions. You have so many ways to achieve this thing called retirement so that if one of them falls, you still get to retire. This is the mentality and mindset that we're bringing into our fitness. And this is why we get the results that we get because this is the mindset that we have. So with that being said, I'll close this video out. Um, take some time to figure out your angles and fall back on your angles. These are your guardrails along the journey to achieving anything in life. I'll see you in step number three.